So I'm going to break this list up into three categories. Niche but good, good, and essential. Niche but good is, well, niche, but can be used in other scenarios. Good means it should be used in most loadouts, and essential means you should have these units equipped in almost every loadout. Before this video starts, I just wanted to say that I'm grading the default units and alternates separately. For example, if I say Rocket Battler is number 5, it does not mean Capper Battler is also number 5. Another thing to note is that I am not putting Mafia Grip on this list because he's being nerfed soon. And besides, we don't know he'd be number 1. This list is based on overall use, adaptability, and whether or not you should use this alternate or base form over itself. So let's get on to the list. The first unit on our list is the Dull Regent Battler. Dull Regent is very niche, but when he is used, he shines. The most effective use of the Dull Regent Battler is in Deathbringer, where he is used to tank Deathbringer's extremely fast punches. He is an alright meat shield, but he shines in bosses. His ult, Normal Regen, is okay, but he doesn't really find any real important use in the game that couldn't be substituted with other units. Coming in at number 9 is the Arson Battler. The Arson Battler is a unit that does a lot of burning splash damage in a short radius. He is another niche unit, but he is ranked above Dull Region because he can be used in many scenarios. These scenarios include Doomspire Brick Battle, Ultimate Paintball, Sludges and Swords, and Battler Spam. Although all stages can be beaten without him, he makes certain stages easier. Coming in at number 8 is the Kamikaze Battler. The Kamikaze Battler is a unit that does high amounts of damage in a short amount of time. He is used in niche situations such as Doombringer's Rage Mode when you need a quick burst of damage, or in large clumps of enemies that are hard to deal with using single shot damage, such as a horde of hammer battlers. The Kamikaze Battler is good in certain scenarios, at all star and difficulty levels, however he is not very useful outside of these situations. We are now moving into the good category of units. These units should be used in most loadouts, as they are very f effective in many scenarios. Our first number in this category is number 7, which is a tie between the Soccer Battler and the Baller Battler. Soccer and Baller Battler are our first tie on this list, as they are both great range units. Soccer has strength in his rage and his ability to stall when spammed due to his stun. Baller is also a great ranged unit, and his strength is his increased damage and tankiness. They are a great pick for most loadouts and can be used on many stages. Coming in at number 6 is the Trial Battler. The Trial Battler is probably the best R in the game for his price tag. He's only $50 more than Battler, and provided that he doesn't get one shot, he can last around 3 times as long. His ult, Builder Battler, is not very useful and is not needed for any stage. Overall, he is a great unit and that has a lot of diversity in many stages, and should be used in most loadouts. We are now moving on to the essential category of units. These units should be used in almost every loadout, as they are very effective in almost any scenario they are put in. The first unit on this list is number 5, which is Brigand Battler. Brigand is almost always an essential pick in your loadout. His high damage and better range than the normal sword makes him a deadly unit when piled up with himself or other units. The only time you would want to use his ult form is in the spammy 3 star stages, where his increased attack speed will help you greatly. Overall, he's an essential unit for any good loadout. Coming in at number 4 is the Dull Speed Battler. Yeah, you probably expect this guy to be here. Dull Speed Battler is a great pick for any standard or early to mid tumor stages. Although he struggles with bosses, Dull Speed Battler will charge his way through any enemy. If you get two of these guys on the field, they're practically unstoppable, leaving room for your other troops to catch up. 
Along with bosses, he also has a weakness in star stages as his high price cost and high enemy health leaves him struggling and out in the open to die. However, for most players, you should always have this guy in your loadout. Also, his ult sucks. Please never use normal speed battler. It's so bad. Coming in at number 3 is Normal Battler. His ult just makes his hair cooler, so I guess it's technically Blonde Battler too. Anyway, Battler is essential for pretty much every stage. He can meet shield, he can be spammed, he can be used to greed, which basically means farm bank levels. I've never literally not had Battler in my loadout, so that kind of speaks for himself. The only reason why he's number 3 is because he has no real damage output and cannot tank for long. He's also not very useful later in rounds when you have enough money to make a real push because he doesn't really do anything. Despite this, he is essential in every loadout and should always be used. Coming in at number 2 is a tie between both Titan battlers, Telamon Titan and Normal Titan. To beat the most stages, you should always have one of these guys in your loadout. For earlier stages, obviously you're stuck with Normal Titan, however, don't be discouraged by this. His faster fire rate makes him much more of a powerhouse than his counterpart. This makes him a much better choice for bosses like Doomspire and Rocket Arena. However, Telamon Titan has his perks too. He is much more tanky with his heal ability and is great for stalling. And although he has less fire rate, the stats are still the same, so his damage will still be devastating to anyone in front of him. Even in higher star stages and two more, the Titan Battlers are a must have and should always be in your loadout. Finally, the best unit in the Battle Bricks besides Mafia Crip is... Rocket Battler. Didn't expect to see him at number one, huh? Well, the reason why I put Rocket at number one is because of the overall meta right now. The meta right now is getting a few tanks and meat shields in front, and then getting a huge blob of ranged units behind them that just shred anything in front of them. Rocket and Mafia Crip are usually the bread and butter of these pushes, and Rocket's splash damage gives a lot of assistance in spammy stages with its general high damage output. I will now demonstrate his power by beating Tank with only Rocket Battler. That's the list. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do whatever all the other YouTubers tell you to do. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. I'll see you next time.